How's it going, everybody? I'm back in Fallout 4. I'm back in Taffin and Boathouse. And this time, I'm going to be actually turning the downstairs into a diner. Um, and this is kind of just my idea for this settlement. I wanted it to be kind of like a rest stop, sort of. That's why uh, I had the, like, apartment bus thing outside uh, because it was kind of meant to be like a motel and I want this to be like a bar or a diner and so I'm going to be transforming the entire downstairs into like multiple rooms uh, I'm going to change this front area into like a room for seating Whenever I go back inside, I'll explain which room. I'm going to change this first room into a room for seating, and then the kitchen is going to be for where they're going to cook it, obviously. And then I'm going to add another room to the left of this wall, and I'm going to store, I'm going to have them store food and their meat and stuff there. So. Now I'm going to try to make like a doorway. That's all I'm trying to do here. And I've had people ask me before, because this is a good example, why I don't use place anywhere. And I actually do. Uh, whenever I do my builds, I like to show you that you can do them without place anywhere. And so you can see that I can fit this in here. But I was just worried that it wouldn't quite look right so I take it out and right here I went ahead and I used the actual place anywhere tool because it does it works great like I don't know if people think that I just don't think that it works um, but no I usually go back and I fix my builds with that kind of stuff before the tour um, I'll go back and I'll replace things and stuff and I would rather do that because then I can show, because I know that some people don't like to use a uh, place anywhere. It does cause, like, issues with the game. Like, I used it whenever I was, uh, I can't remember which settlement I was in, to be completely honest with you. But, um, I think it may have been Grey Garden. I had, like, two times, it was Grey Garden, okay, so... If you go back, I have a video where I built a like caravan stop. I had to build that build twice because I attempted to use place anywhere and it just crashed my game. And so I just didn't want to deal with like my game crashing all the time. And so I just don't really mess with it. And I'm sure that it doesn't just cause crashes and stuff. And, like, I've not had that many issues since. But I feel like using pillar glitches and stuff is a lot harder. And it makes me be a little bit more creative, I feel like. Because uh, I have to try to use the tools that are available to build stuff. And, I, like I said, I do use Place Anywhere whenever I want something to be a certain way and I can't get it to f to fit right so I do use it I just I don't like to use it all the time and this is the second room this is the wall for the second room I was telling you back that I was going to use as storage and so my idea for this house this downstairs originally was just imagine Moriarty's bar in Megaton. Uh, that is what I imagine. So, like, right here, I go ahead and I section off this part of the house. Because the room where uh, Mr. Burke is, the little smoking room or whatever, that's what I wanted this room to be like. It's kind of just off on its own. And there's a one chair in there with a table. It's like a little smoking room. And then I want the bar to be right in the front and then tons of chairs and stuff out in front of it. And so I did have a counter. And so, I mean, it's not going to be as big, obviously, as Moriarty's bar. But 
because I don't have the tools for that. I don't have as big of a space. And so I'm just trying to make use with what I have. And like this, I want it to, ha I want to have a bar across the front. And so I have to actually put these next to each other and make them look like they're just one counter. And so it just takes a little bit, but I want, like I said, I want it to look a lot like Moriarty's bar. And so right now I'm kind of just thinking like what would look better there. Cause I didn't like really how it looked, but, uh, I stick with it and I just put a rug behind it because the tier three, you make more money off of it over time, which that's not really like a huge thing issue I don't really need to make any caps but yeah just to I just like to have the restaurant one it, I, I believe it produces more happiness than the other ones but then I want this to be sort of like a cafe area and I actually spend a while trying to get the um, decorations on these because you're not able to place OCD decorator items on top of this and also usually I would leave this out of my build and I just wanted to show you guys uh, like how I was going to decorate this because I feel like without it I just put up a couple walls and so I mean that's not very hard I wanted to show you what my idea was for decorating this and so I wanted it to be like a cafe cafe uh, benches on one side and then uh, on the other side I wanted the I wanted the rest of the room to kind of just be like a like a restaurant like bar type of deal so I just put tables and stuff and for the back rooms though that's when uh, it really comes together is whenever I put all of the also I don't know why the first two like took forever to, for me to get in but this one was much easier this last bench um, I just go ahead and I rug glitch it in and as you can see I'm fidgeting with it a lot well, like anything else I build I'm trying to make sure that gaps not too big and I think it looks really good across the back and it fits perfect I thought and so now I'm trying to pick out which chair I want and I went with that one this blue one and then I put um, that white round table, uh, there was a clean version with vault Tech, but I want the dirty version. I almost accidentally picked the clean version. And then I'm trying to get this as close to that corner as possible. And I don't know what it is about Fallout 4's build system, but like things have to be f like at certain angles to fit in certain corners. Like only certain sides of an item can go against a wall and that's so odd to me especially with items like tables and such it just seems so just weird and then since there was already a table in the house that I deleted I thought instead of deleting it I would just replace it uh, and I would move it into the center of the room I don't know if that's actually the same table I wasn't sure even when I was building it but I think that it is so I'm not too worried about it and then like I said it being a bar, I want to have some tables, a wall, or some benches, not benches, stools. I can't talk or think right now, I'm sorry. But I just wanted some stools along the front of the build. And since that back part is a little lower than the beam across the floor, I put some plywood down to try to make it even. And then also, I place plywood around the house anyway just to kind of break up the floor to make it look a little bit more run down and stuff like that uh, instead of it just being regular. I wanted it to have more texture and stuff so I think that it end ends up looking a lot better with these sorts of pieces on it. And this back room I mess with for a little bit with these. But I think that that looks a lot better than just having the floor be regular. And I mean, I could have put rugs, I guess, but 
I think plywood looks good. And so I go ahead and I put chairs around each of the tables, and that one table had two chairs that I could remember. So I went ahead and placed them. And then also I like to mix and match chairs because I imagine that they found us like they went into a house scavenging and then they found chairs that like kind of go together but they maybe only found two or three of the chairs and so now I don't know if I actually yeah so I didn't show you guys what I did in the kitchen cuz I just put down uh a couple of decorations but yeah so as you can see I'm starting to build back on that deck with supplies like it's a uh, actual settlement and I really like the way that this looks the decorations really make it look really cool uh, all the heads of all the creatures and mutants that you can hunt I just imagine that they've got someone that hunts animals for them and they've got tons of mounts on the wall of animal heads and some caps sitting out uh, I really like the way that that looked uh, I put some with CVA there's some debris that you can get and I put that on top of a like a fire barrel and then I put some meat laying around uh, in the other room I had a meat hook on the wall cutting board in here and a knife and then food just scattered across the counters and plates and stuff but this this build I was really pleased with how this turned out and I really hope that you guys like it too uh, anyway make sure you like this video and subscribe share it with people because I really like the way that uh, this channel is growing and I appreciate all the support thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video